Hi and welcome to the Resources Roadhouse, I'm Wally Graham. I'm at the 2022 RIU Explorers Conference in Fremantle, where I caught up with Dan Thomas, who's Managing Director of Hammer Metals. Dan, welcome to the Roadhouse again, good to see you. Pleasure Wally, thanks for having me on. Always a pleasure. Now uh, Dan, um, we've, you've hit us up twice this week with a couple of announcements, been a bit busy for Hammer Metals. Now, first one, uh, <laughs> Valentine's Day, you gave us a, 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 a copper hit at Ajax, could you just run us out what, what that was? Yeah, nice problems to have and completely unexpected. Although we are drilling at the moment, and you're always a chance when you're drilling. Uh, 10 metres at 3.5% copper, that was on an XRF value only. But we had that over the weekend. I had my news plan for this week with our results from Kelman. But the unexpected hit of copper at uh, Ajax has been really good. So we've got a bit to do there. We need to work out what's going on with that system and try and follow it up. Uh, so we're looking to do that in the near term. All right, just give us a, a bit of an update. Where is Ajax? Where, where does it sit? Yeah, so Ajax sits along a trend that goes from Trafalgar, where our discovery with Sumitomo was last year. That runs all the way up to our resources at Elaine and Jubilee, so it's a 12 kilometre trend. Ajax is along there. It's been a few prospects we've been checking out along that trend. So it's really nice to see what we believe is a highly prospective mineralised trend delivering mineral results. All right, well, you were drilling there, so you must have been hoping to hit something. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've got a lot of prospects along there. There was some good soil geochemistry around there, some interesting um, quartz veining through there as well. So it was a bit of a scouting hole. We drilled a 200 metre deep hole there, and that was what we planned to do. We hit the mineralisation at 25 metres. So as I said, it caught us a little bit by surprise, and it's a good problem to have a uh, good intersection at shallow depths. I mean, it's a lot there to follow up on. All right, so the news that you were expecting release uh, on the Tuesday, uh, some stuff at the Kelman deposit, um, and what happened there? Yeah, so Kelman we drilled late last year. We drilled in December in the lead up to Christmas. And Kelman's a no mineral resource, so 350,000 tonne of copper equivalent metal sits there. We we're looking to extend to the north. So we did a little bit of drilling to the north of the deposit in an area that sat outside of the mineral resource. Pleasingly, we hit copper and molybdenum, rhenium and gold mineralisation there. Again, shallow depths, 20 to 30 metres deep. Nice broad intersections, 50 to 60 metres, ranging from sort of half a percent up to a percent copper equivalent. It's going to add to our resource there, and it really is going to rejuvenate what we're doing at Kelman. All right, so you said sort of like the start of something new there and continue drilling there and see yeah. what's going on? Yeah, absolutely, Wally. So we haven't drilled there for six years, so it's great to get back there and do a bit of drilling there again. Um, but we'll also re-look at that deposit in light of current metal prices. Last time we looked at Kelman, copper price was 4700 a tonne US. Today it's over 10000 Molybdenum is probably in the mid-$20,000 a tonne. That's at 45000 a tonne. So there's a lot of opportunities at Kelman to re-look at that deposit, play with cut-off grades, change around mining scenarios. And we'll also look, all sorting technologies moved a long way in the last five years. So we'll look to do a little bit of test work there, metallurgically, improve the returns out of the system and see what we can do with the economics of it whilst we look to add tonnes by drilling to the north. And the best part about that system is it's still open to the south. It is deep down at seven, 800 metres, but intersections are 20% plus copper. We've seen what that does for exploration companies operating in that Isaac. All right, well, we can only wait and see what happens next, be the expected news or unexpected news, but uh, as long as it keeps on being good news, okay? Plenty of good news to look forward to, Wally. Thanks for having me again. Pleasure.